Hello, this video is going to show you how to use the import slide feature in Google Slides and also how to possibly make an interactive activity um, from using master slide decks that you have created. So normally when I teach this lesson, um, when we're all in the classroom, I have the kids get in groups with partners, um, read through a reading and then they end up having to draw on paper some compare and contrast. But because some of my learners are digital right now, I wanna create this in a digital format. So I have created a graphic organizer master. So I've just put a bunch of different graphic organizers in slides already so that if I wanna use them, I can at any time. Um, and I don't have to recreate every time I wanna do an activity. So for this one, um, because I want to compare and contrast the old Stone Age and new Stone Age, so instead of doing the on paper activity, so maybe instead of this slide, I want to actually come up here to File, go to Import Slides, and I'm going to find that Graphic Organizers um, slide deck that I have put all my master graphic organizers in. So I can start searching for it. Um, I can pull it up and then once it pulls up my slide deck it'll ask me you know which slides do I want so I just want the Venn diagram and down here it's asking me to import slides so I'm just wanting to import that one slide and as it comes in here I now have a Venn diagram and I can add in my text boxes as I would like to okay but let's say I wanted to make this into an activity instead, um, and I don't want to give editing rights to my presentation, so I don't want kids or students on this presentation. So what I can do is I can come over here, uh, go to new Google Slides, create a new one, Stone Age Activity. Okay, so I'm going to go to File, Import Slides again, and I'm going to look for my graphic organizers slide deck again. And I'm going to put in the Venn diagram again. And this time I'm going to right click and duplicate slide and I can actually now do both of them. And I'm going to duplicate both slides and I can highlight all of them again and duplicate slides. And I want to get as many slides as I can for all of my students. So just for today, let's assume that we have um, 13 students, or I guess 12, I'm going to delete this one out. And if I want to put my text boxes on here, I can. So um, I would more likely make this look better if I was truly giving this out to students. But I'm going to want to give my students editing rights, so I need to change this and make it editor. So when I give this link to students, um, they're able to get on here and claim a slide and work with their partner on that slide. But what's really nice is if I look in grid view, I can actually see all my uh, different slides here and I can see the kids on it. So as I have a student enter, you can see over here that you can see their um, icon bubble pop up and if you hover over it, their name will appear. So I can actually see them move to whatever slide they choose to be on and I can see all my students at once. So if you're worried that a student might go on a different slide than you want them to be on, you can kind of monitor all at one time. So that's how you use import slides and then duplicate slides for an activity and also use the grid view down here.